What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI here with another HP Pro 3405. This is the micro tower upgrade. So you, the first thing you're going to do is uh, remove the side cover panel. Is You're going to do some thumb screw right here. You get that unscrewed and you're going to slide it to the left like this. And remove the side cover panel. And guys, I'll be doing upgrades. Uh, power supply, video card, memory, hard drive to solid state drive. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And this is like for light gaming. So first what we have to do is remove the side cover, remove the front cover bezel here to remove the optical drive before you remove the power supply. Because you cannot remove the power supply because uh, this you see right here, the optical drive is really close to the power supply. So first what you need guys is a Torx T15 screwdriver. I recommend and you wear latex gloves if you want. To remove that the, right here, the little clips, you press them up like this and it comes right out of the front cover bezel. And to remove the optical drive, there will be two screws right here that we have to use uh, Torx T15 screwdriver to remove. If you don't have Torx T15 screwdriver, you can use you can use a flathead screwdriver. Can you see that on the bowl right here? The screws here, you can use a flathead screwdriver, perfectly fine. So now what we have to do, guys, is uh, remove the optical drive right here. Just slide a little bit and disconnect the SATA power from it and it's got a secure clip you have to press it down don't forget to release it and remove slide the optical drive out and we're going to disconnect a uh, four pin right here from the uh, from the motherboard from the power supply and the 24 pin right there and right here see where the 24 pin right there is it's behind there's a clip you have to press on it show you guys right there it's going to be like this, installed, and what you have to do is you press on the clip to release it, like this. And disconnect from the hard drive right here, the SATA, the power SATA. And uh, we're going to make sure everything's disconnected from the power supply before we move that. And the, what you have to do is uh, you got to take the Torx T15 screwdriver and there will be two screws in the back. You have to unscrew, and I'll show you right there, right here, the four screws from the power supply. Now there will be a little clip you have to take uh, right here. So you're going to take the, your screwdriver right here. You see the secure clip right there? And you're going to press it with the screwdriver to release the secure clip before you remove the power supply. It's a little clip right here. You press it with the screwdriver down and your power supply will slide right out. Just like that. Really easy. So remove the power supply. The power supply in here is uh, 300 watts so it's really good for the GTX 950 I'm going to install. But I'm just going to have to upgrade the, the power supply in here. And uh, I'm going to be installing, guys, uh, the CX, uh, I'm going to be installing the CX600, a Corsair, a very good power supply. I don't have anything small. I got a Cooler Master, but uh, I'm just going to go install the Corsair CX600. They got a CX500 and a CX430 you can install. And what I'm going to do that is uh, the fan is going to be facing down. And it slides right in. Now you're gonna take the 24 pin and the four pin you're gonna connect for I'm gonna connect first uh, the four pin to the motherboard like that and now be the 24 pin and show you guys right there and Okay, let me connect it again here. Can't see it really well. Okay, we connected 24 pin. Now I'm gonna be upgrading the memory right here. It's got only four gigs in here. I'm gonna be upgrading guys 16 gigs. DDR3 1600 9 ECCM buffer memory. Again, DDR3 1600 9 ECCM buffer memory for desktop. So DDR3 1600, I'm gonna be using the memory. And so what you guys are gonna do is uh I'm going to take the DDR3-1600 memory and just install it. And there's a little clips you got to press them down a little bit. If you want to install the memory, you're going to hear two clicks when you install the memory properly. And be the last stick. So 8 gigs installed. And 16. And you're gonna hear two clicks when the memory installed properly. So we install a total of 16 gigs, 8 gig per each slot, DDR3-1600, 9 CCM buffer memory. So now what we guys gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, 
remove the hard drive right here so disconnect the SATA cable and you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna use a Torx T15 screwdriver remove the hard drive And the video guys I did on a tear down would be separate video and upgrade the processor CMOS battery is a separate video be uploaded. So remove the four screws here and this hard drive hard drive 3.5 inch slides like this and you remove it. So here's the hard drive. And what you guys are gonna do is I'll show you guys how to install the newer uh, different hard drive in it and upgrade to solid state drive. So there's an older hard drive and there's a newer one. So you're gonna slide this back in like this. And you're gonna install the screws back and you're gonna connect uh, the SATA right here. And you're gonna connect the SATA cable and power Right here, you're gonna get the SATA and power cable going straight to the hard drive. And you're gonna mount it back in the screws here. And installed by the screws back. And you can connect the SATA and power back to the hard drive like this, and you're done. And I'm gonna show you guys uh, now, he's gonna disconnect the SATA and power from the hard drive. I'm gonna show you how to upgrade to the solid state drive. So you're gonna remove the screws again, and remove the hard drive. And I'm be upgrading the solid state drive. Is any 2.5 inch will work? Oh, I mean any solid state drive. I'm gonna be so I'm gonna use a solid state right here. Is a 2.5 inch solid state drive. And you're gonna connect the uh, first. You have to connect the uh, uh, SATA power cable first. I'm gonna connect and the SATA cable here, just like that. And I'm gonna show you guys, you see the mounting holes right there? That's how you're gonna install it right there where it says letter A and B, B, and letter B and letter B right there. That's how you're gonna install the mount in the solid state drive. So I'm gonna install and put the screws back on. And guys, the screws that the solid state drive I'm gonna be using is actually same screws as the optical drive is using right there. It's using the same screws right there, so they're using the same screws and not not the same ones the hard drive using they're a little bit smaller you have to buy them online and just gonna install them to the screws here hope oh, got it wrong okay i'm installing the wrong place okay hold on let me go back okay it's gonna be like this One, two, three, okay guys, so in uh, we got a total three screws and try to find the last one. Here's the fourth one. Here's a four screw right here. So four, four screws and we installed the solid state drive. And what you guys, we're gonna do the last part guys, we're gonna be upgrading the video card. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And there's gonna be a clip right here. Then you have to go on the side and use a Torx T15 screwdriver. And you have to remove it right here, the little clip is for, it's holding the PCI bracket. A little clip right here, right there, you have to remove. And we're going to be installing the video card. Um, we're going to be installing, guys, a GTX 950 video card. Show you guys the box quickly. 
MSI uh, G G4 GTX 950. I'm gonna be starting. This is overclocked edition. This is the one I'm gonna be using. And there'll be a two PCI bracket you guys have to remove right here in the back side. So what you have to do is uh, remove the PCI brackets like this. And when you install the video card, really easy is move through PCI Express X16 slot right there. So take the video card. You guys probably can see really well. I'll try to do best as I can. Okay, so. Okay, so we're gonna install uh, through PCI X16 slot. We install the video card right there. Now, what we have to do is to put the bracket back, the clip in here, like here, back. And we're gonna screw it back on here. And we have to connect the six pin power directly to the video card. Guys, right here, can you see? I'm trying to zoom in. This is the six pin power we're going to connect directly to the video card. And we're done. So now what we're going to do is uh, the last part is the optical drive we have to install back right here. And we're going to connect this, the SATA cable and power directly to it. And it's right there. You're going to connect back to SATA, oh, it's going to be really hard because this power supply is on the way. And you're going to connect the SATA and power. Okay, and the last part here, this one, we're going to connect. Uh, so tight. This is so close to the optical drive here, barely fits in here. Okay, so now what we're going to do guys is uh, we're going to take the, all the other cables and use uh, cable ties. And just you're gonna slam right in the back side like this. So you just use the cable ties and you were done just like that. And you're gonna install back the screws here for the optical drive. And we're done. Uh, where's the screws are at? Okay. Okay, so we're going to install back the screws here. And we're going to install the front cover base of back. That's it, we're done guys. So we're going to, we, this is the video guys, uh, we upgraded the video card. Video card, power supply, memory, this to a total of 16 gigs, and we upgraded from hard drive to solid state drive. And uh, this guy's for the light gaming. And you're gonna put the side cover back on. And what you guys gonna do is uh, install the video card directly to the video card, uh, the the video monitor directly to the video card. And when you start the computer, and what you're gonna do, uh, install, get the drivers from Nvidia.com, get the latest drivers for this video card. That's about it. So yeah guys, this will be the end of the video. I'll show you guys, you can use uh, uh, Asus uh, GeForce GTX 950. This is the mini one, you can use that if you want. And here's the model of it right there, you guys can see, zoom in. It's a really good video card too. So yeah guys, this will be the end of the video. So you're gonna put the side cover back on here. That's it, and just put the screw back on here, the thumb screw back. Just zoom in the camera. And we're done. So yeah guys, this is the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.